Good morning, everybody, or good evening, or good afternoon. This is Ray Charles, and uh, this lesson is uh, the beginning review uh, for an Algebra 1A final. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, this is chapters 1 and 2, basically. So evaluate the expression. So there you go. you got all these expressions. You can probably pause it right here and write them down, and then I'll go through them. All right, so the first one, you got to do uh, the 3 squared first is 9. And then the next thing you have to do is the 9 times 2, which is 18, and then you can add them together to get 25. Okay, on, on number uh, 2, uh, first thing you got to do is do these parentheses, 24 minus 11, 3 plus 2, so 13 minus 5 divided by 4. Now I have to do 5 divided by 4. Now some of you guys forget how to do long division, only because you don't want to. Uh, and here it is over here. 4 goes into 5, and I had to add a decimal with two zeros. 4 goes into 5 one time, and you subtract. And 5 minus 4 is 1. You slide that 0 down, and then 4 goes into 10 2 times. And then 2 times uh, 4 is 8, and then I subtract. 10 minus 8 is 2. Slide that last one down. Finally, 4 goes into 25 times, and you get a remainder of 0 there. So it's 1.25. Okay, so 5 divided by 4 equals 1.25. And 13 minus 1.25 is 11.75. All right, okay, this one's pretty easy. Just, just think of 3 cubed as 27, and you're going to add three zeros with it because it's being cubed. Okay, so it's 27,000. All right, and then uh, this one here, uh, I'm going to plug in 5, so I have to do uh, inside the parentheses first. I have to do the 2 times 5, which is 10, and then 10 plus 7 I have to do first, and then finally uh, 4 times 17 is 68. All right. Okay, so write an expression, an equation, or any quality with each phrase. Here's the first one. The sum of 24, sum means addition, and the cube of a number x. Okay, there's your answer. 24 plus x cubed. Easy, huh? Okay, twice the difference. Difference means subtraction. Twice the difference. So I'm going to put a 2. The difference of p and q. So it's going to be p minus q and in parentheses with a 2 because it's twice that and then is equal to 14. All right, there you go. Okay, so here is twice... The difference of P and Q equals 14. Okay, let's try another. Uh, the sum of 13, which is addition, and the square of a number H is greater than 17. Well, that one's pretty easy, okay? Uh, the sum of number uh, 13 and the square of H, H squared, is greater than 17. All right. Uh, match the statement with the property that, illust that is illustrated, okay? So you have all these uh, statements over here, okay? So you're going to probably pause it and write it down. Wait before you pause it. Now I'll pause it and write them down, okay? And then uh, let's go see if we can do a process of elimination as we're doing that, okay? All right, negative 1 times 8 equals negative 8. Okay, that one's going to be this one. It's multiplication property of negative 1, okay? So D is going to go up there, easy enough. Okay, this one's pretty easy. 0 times anything is 0. That's the multipl multiplication property of 0. Okay, we just got to figure out what's symmetric and what's uh, commutative. Commutative is like when you commute to work, you guys, in a car. I commute to work in my, in my car. So um, uh, this 3 and negative 2 are commuting around this multiplication symbol. There's a little hidden multiplication symbol. 3 times negative 2 is the same as new two, negative 2 times 3. They commuted around the, the multiplication. So that's B. So my leftover one must be this one, symmetric property. And symmetric property is just when things get flipped over the equal sign. So 5 times x equals 15, and 15 times, or 15 equals 5 times x. They just get flipped over the equal sign. There's transitive property. There's reflexive property. Uh, what else is there? There's di uh, distributive property. So those are all there, too. They're, they're not... Uh, I'm not going to show you on those. Okay, order the numbers from least to greatest. Okay, all these ones. Okay, what I did is first change these to a decimal. 3 goes into 5 once, and then you get 2 left over, add some decimals. So this becomes negative um, 1.66666. It keeps repeating, you guys. All right, and then this one here, the square root of 16 is 4. So the square root of 15 is a little bit less than that. So I'm saying about 3.9, but it's negative 3.9. I don't need to worry about that or that or that. Square root of 25 is 5. So here they are as decimals, all as decimals. Okay, and then I made a number line. Number lines help me put them in order. All right, so let's put this guy in first. Negative 1.67 is going to be somewhere right around here. Okay, so I'm going to call that negative 5 thirds. All right. Okay, there it is right there. And then negative 3.9 is going to be my square root of 15. Here it is over here, negative 3.9 over there. Okay, 
and then uh, negative 3, that's easy enough, that goes right there, and then positive 2 is going to go over here, all right, so negative 3, positive 2, okay, negative 1.7, you guys, is a little bit farther to the left of negative 1.67, it's going to be like right there, okay, so I'm going to do a little red arrow there, all right, so, and then there's the square root of 25 way over there, because that equals 5, Okay, now, now they're in order. Once you put them on a number line, they're in order from least. This is the least. This is the second least. This is the third. This is the fourth. So here they are in order, just like the number line right there. Okay, all right, find the sum, difference, product, or quotient. Okay, you got all these, so pause it so you can take care of these. Okay, so the first one, uh, you have to basically subtract those, and it's negative because this is the, the bigger absolute value of them, so it's uh, negative 9.1. Okay, here you got to get a common denominator, which is 14, so I'm going to multiply this one by 2 over 2, so I can go ahead and take care of that. Okay, so here's my 2 over 2 right here. All right, and then so uh, subtraction is the same as adding the opposite, so that's what this is, adding the opposite of, an, of uh, 5 14 okay? So 2 over 2 times uh, 2 over 7 gets me 4 over 7, so it's negative 4, 4 I'm sorry, 4 over 14. Negative 4 over 14 plus negative 5 over 14 is negative 9 over 14. Okay, this next one over here, the 5's cancel, and 3 negatives makes a negative, so it's negative 20. Okay, this one I'm going to flip it and multiply, you guys. So here we go. I'm going to flip it and multiply. Okay, and then the 5 goes into the 10 two times, so I'm left with negative, uh, or 1 times negative 11 is negative 11, and then 1 times 2 is 2, so negative 11 over 2. Okay, minus a minus, this is going to become a plus, you guys, so uh, it's going to become out to be a uh, positive 18.6. Okay, common denominators here are 6, so I'm going to multiply this one by 2 over 2. All right, so here we go, 2 over 2, um, and then uh, I get uh, negative 1, 6 plus 2, 6 is a positive 1, 6. Okay, so simplify the expression. All right, so pause it. Okay, and then so this one I distributed the 9 through and I get negative 9x. Remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, I'm going to distribute here 8x minus 32 here and then combine like terms, you guys. 8x minus 10x is negative 10 or 2x minus 32. Okay, here I'm going to divide 7. 7 goes into all of these. 7 goes into the negative 7, negative 1 times. 7 goes into negative 21. There should be a negative right there, negative 3. I got it right here. I just didn't write it up there, darn it. So negative w minus 3 is the answer. Okay, over here, negative 4 goes into negative 16, positive 4 times, and negative 4 goes into 8, negative 2 times. Okay, so the answer is 4x minus 2. All right, so solve the equation. Here we go. Okay, pause it, and then let's go. Here we go. So on the first one, I'm going to subtract 5. Negative 18 minus 5 is 23. On the second one, I'm going to add 17 to both sides, and then so 28 plus 17 is 45, and 15 goes into 45 three times. Okay, on this one, I'm going to go plus 6 plus 6 first, and then multiply by 10. Okay, so when I added 6 to both sides, I get m over 10 equals 26, because 20 plus 6. And then to get rid of that denominator, I multiplied both sides by 10. So you get 260. Okay, this one I can't do in 1. I, it gets a little too confusing. So what I did first, you guys, is, is um, I subtracted 39 on both sides first. And then at the same time, I got rid of this 4h. I, want, I don't want any letters on the right. I want all the letters on the left and all the numbers on the right. So I'm going to add 4h to both sides. And negative 12 plus 4 is a negative 8. Cancel, cancel. And then this becomes to be a negative uh, 56. Okay, so negative 8h equals negative 56. So h equals 7. All right. Now, this assignment right here are all the odds. These are out of chapters 1 and 2. So all odds. Um, so pause that and then get that written down.